Welcome to Excel Name Trick number seven. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook. Excel Name Series 1 to 12. Hey, trick number seven. This is probably my favorite name trick ever. It's totally amazing. This name trick will allow you to not have to use things like the index and match function to look things up when you have names here and across the top and you want to say look up Ford March and figure out what the number of vehicles sold for Ford in March is. This is a typical lookup situation where you'd have to use index or match or something like that. This trick using names will totally um, and data validation will allow you to to not use those functions. The first thing is we want to name. I want to name this whole column January, this whole column March, this whole column February. I want to name this whole row Ford. It goes out to June, etc. Now I don't want to have to type all these names in. So there's a quick, easy way if you have names here and names at the top, there's a keyboard shortcut that will automatically do that. Now, the first thing is I want to select this whole table. And the table is defined as spaces all the way around, or row or column headers. So with my cursor somewhere there, I'm going to hit Control Asterisk. And I'm using my asterisk on the number pad. Otherwise, you have to go Control Shift 8, Control Asterisk. Now, the keyboard shortcut to create these names automatically, which is uh, Create Names from Selection, is Control Shift F3. And look at that. It's applied. It says, what are there names in the top row? Are there names in the left row? Yes, there are. Click OK. Now, how do we know that those names? Well, highlight right here. What does it say up there? January. What does it say right there? February. If I highlight this whole column here, oh, no way, that's the Honda. Now, let's go look at all the names. The keyboard shortcut to go to Name Manager, or in earlier versions, it's Define Names. It's the keyboard shortcut works in, both ver in all versions, back to at least 99. Control F3. Oh, there's the Name Manager. And look. April, um, Chevy, I have a lot, we have lots of other names because we've been working on names for a while. February, Ford, unbelievable. Look at all those names. I'm going to click Close. Now I want to come up here, and the reason we're, we have named all these columns and rows is so we can use a formula to look up Chevy and April. Equals C H E. Oh, look at that. It even knows that there's a name there. In 2007, you can just hit Tab once it's in bold, or else you have to type it. You can already see that there's blue around the Chevy row. Then you type a space. That is a uh, intersector operator in a formula is a space. And then type APR. And there it is. You can see that there's a green box around the April and a blue box around the Chevy. And the intersection of the two will be delivered to the cell. Control Enter. Now, I don't want to have to type in all the names all the time. So what I'd like to do, and I've added data validation, and I've showed you how to do data validation in lots of other videos with a drop down. There's a drop down. So I can pick Ford, and here I could pick. January. And I want to be able to just simply, with that, with these drop downs, select it and have the number pop up here. I'm going to control ZZ just to get the same value at first and see that this works. Now, let's do a little, um, see if this works. If we go equals Chevy space April. Let's see if this works. Control Enter. Oh, there's the null error. Guess what? That null error very rarely comes up, but it means there is no intersection. But watch this. We're going to do the indirect function. The indirect function takes a um, named range as text and converts it to an actual name that can look at cells. I'm going to hit F2. In fact, I'm going to blow this way up. This formula is too cool not to see it real big on the screen. F2 to put it in edit mode. And then I'm going to click before the F and type indirect. Indirect. And then close parentheses. And then I'm actually going to highlight this right here because I'm such a bad typer. And then I'm going to paste it right here and then put close parentheses. You've got to be kidding me. This formula, indirect of that, which means it'll take 
the text Chevy and convert it to an actual cell range because it's name. And here we'll take April as text and convert it to the name, which is an actual cell range. Control Enter. You got to be kidding me. Now I have this drop down here. I can point to January and Honda, and it's 812. We sold 812 in January. Honda, 812. That is one of my favorite tricks ever with the indirect and names and knowing how to name quickly with Control Shift F3. All right, we'll see you next name trick.